So the question is asking, what is the rational zero test? And you know, in this day and age with technology and kind of stuff like that, it's still very important to know the rational zero test. It's not something that is going to take you very long to really understand. And then it's also, it's one for you to immediately kind of check your answer. I, I totally agree with uh, you know, graphing and understanding the graphs, but it's also important back in the day before we had graphs, why we used the rational zero test and how we used it. So first of all, let's go back with our uh, lovely definition of a polynomial. Definition of our polynomial it equals a to the n, x to the n, plus a to the n minus 1, x to the n minus 1, dot, 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 plus a to, um, a to the 1, or x to the 1, a to, I'm sorry, a to the 1, x to the 1, plus a to the 0. There we go. So there's a big definition. Remember, this can be infinite many terms. All right. So the rational zero test pretty much states that all the rational zeros, all of the rational, right? Not irrational, not imaginary, rational terms. All the rational zeros can be found in the form p over q. So then you say, what's p over q? p all right, is going to represent the factors of a to 0, or your constant. Okay. So that would be a sub 0. So it's going to be your last number, your constant. You know, that's going to be your p. And then q represents your factors of ah, a sub n, which is going to be your leading coefficient. So let's just look at a quick little example here. And we'll just go and label up all the possible. Remember, it doesn't tell you these are exactly the rational zeros. This just tells you these are the possible rational zeros. So let's just look at, let me give you a function here. Let's do f of x equals, um, I'll do 4x squared minus 3x plus, uh, not make it too hard, let's just pick 5. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at all the factors of p. All the factors of p are going to be plus or minus 5 and plus or minus 1. For 4, that's a crazy 4, right? For 4, all my factors are plus or minus 4, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 1. So what I'm going to do is we write our p over q. So it's going to be plus or minus 5 over plus or minus 4. Actually, well, we can just do the whole answer, plus or minus 4. Then we can do comma plus or minus 5 over 2, comma plus or minus 5 over 1, comma plus or minus 1 over 4, comma plus or minus um, 1 over 2, and plus or minus 1 over 1. So you can see these are all the absolutes. So you can see I have two operate, I have two um, possibilities for each one of these rash postural zeros. I have the positive and the negative. So therefore, there's a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There's a possible of 12 zeros, rational zeros, that I could choose between. That would be actually the rational zero of this. Now, however, if you look at this, I have an x squared. Therefore, there's only a maximum number of two zeros that I can have. So I'm giving 12 of them, but I can only have a maximum of 12 of 2. And remember, this just tells you that the number of zeros in the complex number system. This is telling you all the rational zeros. So we don't even know if it's a, um, if it's a real zero, or if it's a um, real zero, or if it's a complex, or if it's rational or irrational. All we know, if it is rational, it's going to fall. It's going to be one of these 12 numbers. So it isn't like rock. I mean, it isn't something like the greatest, oh man, this is the greatest achievement in the world. However, back in the day, I would be very happy to be solving this and proving this. But it's helpful for us to understand, though, when you under, if you get a rational zero and it's maybe not one of those, you can determine, hey, I did something wrong. Or 
when you're graphing and you look at your zeros, you can determine, oh, these are my rational zeros. I need to make sure that those are the zeros and I can eliminate other zeros um, if I don't see them on the graph. So there you go. That's the rational and zero test. I hope it helped. Thanks.